Hey guys, it's Castle Hominid here, and I'm bringing you the second episode of the Ultimate Armor Setup. This time we have the Ultimate Magic Build. So the armor we're going to be using is the Spectre Armor, the full Spectre Armor. And instead of the Mask, I'm using the Hood because set bonus magic done to enemies heals the player. So it's more of a survivable. It's more survivable. Now in the accessories, it's extremely similar to the Ultimate Melee build, the only thing that's different is the armored mana flower, which automatically uses mana potions when needed, which is important because if, uh, say I'm using this, and I run out of mana, which is extremely unlikely, but among other things, but yeah, just say I run out of mana, so this could take a while, because I had it prefixed, so... It doesn't use very ma very much mana. So yeah, I'll use a mana potion if needed. Now, the two weapons of choice are going to be the Mythical Razor Pine and the Godly Bubble Gun. <laughs> Bubbles! And we're actually going to be trying to kill the Golem. So in three, two, one. Okay, now let's switch to the Razor Pine, and, uh, yeah, see how our health is not even going down? Yeah, it's useful. <laughs> so, that's that. Oh, I even got a Staff of the Earth. This is also a good weapon for, I don't know, a, I don't know, magic build, kind of, but I still wouldn't put it in comparison to the Bubble Gun or the Razor Pine. Just because of the Razor Pine does this, which is extremely good if you're dealing with the Pirate Invasion, or any other type of invasion, or Blood Moons, or Solar Eclipses, or Pumpkin Moons, or Frost Moons. But anyway, it's been Castle Hominid. It is, this has been the Ultimate Magic Build. Next episode, we're going to be taking a look at the Ultimate Ranger Build, which could take a while because it has two other components. And um, I'll see you guys in the next episode. This has been Castle Hominid. Hit the like, favorite, subscribe button, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.